Hi, and thank you for watching us here at Tax Talk UK, where we talk about all things tax and consider other important aspects of working for yourself, being self-employed, running a small business. So today we're going to talk about stock takes and specifically how to carry out a stock take. Before I do, if I could please ask you to take a moment to subscribe to our YouTube channel. That way you'll easily be able to refer back to this information if you should need to, as well as being able to find other information we have available on a whole host of different topics, all aimed at supporting you in your self-employment and helping you to be successful. So back then to um, stock takes. So this will, of course, be different for um, every business. It will depend on the um, quantity of stock that you are having to count and how often you are counting it. Um, stock take doesn't only um, apply to products that you um, uh, that you have purchased for resale, but it also applies to um, materials that you may have bought um, to use on um, on jobs, for example um as part of the um jobs or um perhaps materials that you've brought for a construction um job would be another example or um products that you have available that you use um within your um within your work cleaning products for example um for a cleaner would all be all require a, a stock count at the end of the period so we've talked in other guidance about the importance of making adjustments for um, stock takes. And on the back of that, people have asked, well, how should I, um, how's the best way to count my stock? So again, this does de depend largely on how often you are counting your stock and how much you have to count. Because of course, if you don't have very much to count and you're only doing it once a year, you may just decide to um, each year to, um, to, to, to take your template from the previous year and then recount the, um, the, the specific quantities that you have available. Um, if you have a, um, perhaps if you have a large quantity of stock that you are reselling, you may actually want to have um, something built in your till system that allows the stock to be monitored. Although from time to time, you still will need to physically count that stock, at least a spot check for, you know, a certain amount of, um, of, your, of your products um, to ensure that that is working correctly. So really, um, all a stock take is, is counting the stock that you have, either stock that is available specifically to resell, um, stock that is um, perhaps consumables that you're going to be using on jobs, or stock that is um, things that you are going to use to enable you to do your, um, to do your job. So really, all a, all a stock a stock take needs to do is to be able to do that. So if you think, well, um, I can just count everything and make a note of it, then that's all well and good. Um, and it's only as as um, as the amount that you're having to um, count becomes onerous, because of course, it we always have to ha have a balance um, and and weigh up things like um, when we're doing a stock count. Um, it could perhaps it take you a whole week to count every individual item. And it may be then that you are going to estimate some of the smaller, um, smaller items. And of course, this would be fine because we're not um, making a, a specific um, a claim as an expense for um, for the individual items. All we're doing is moving from the balance sheet um, to the profit and loss. So um, all we're affecting is which year the cost goes into rather than affecting the overall cost. So if you have um, a high quantities of um, very small items, very small, very low value, um, then you may choose to estimate. Um, if you have um, only a, a small uh, amount of very large items, then you may choose to um, to count. And then uh, as always, 
if you feel that uh, that counting your stock is too onerous, but you um, need some help in setting up um, systems, it may be that you're making tax digital software has the function and the facility to be able to um, help you manage this. If not, or if you need any further help with this, um, then it may be time to consider engaging um, some professional um, support. And of course, if you are engaging any professional help, um, we always just like to remind you, please do make sure that the person you're engaging is qualified for what you're engaging them for and has um, professional, um, professional indemnity insurance and um, if appropriate is a member of a professional body. So hopefully this helps to give you an understanding and, and start you thinking on how you may manage your own stock take. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.